Hey guys, hope you're having a great day as well as a great life. As well here. as a great life. Now, uh, this we're back. Mungo Jerry. I want to say Jerry Mungo because he's definitely got his first name in the last name spot, his last name in the first name spot. Assume. It. Come on, Jerry Mungo, Mungo Jerry. Here's the deal. He won the 70s summertime poll, and, and I get it. Here's the deal, guys. Uh, Fridays, we're, we're supposed to wear merch. We're not wearing merch, clearly. We need you guys to hold up your end of the bargain, and, and the reason is we don't have any clean merch. It's in the washer, unfortunately. Mine's actually in the dryer, like it actually is. Oh, yeah, I'm being actual, too. Is yours in the washer? It's for sure in the washer. Is it actually? In the actual washer. Then on Instagram, you better have a story where you're showing <laughs> it. You can't plant it there. I feel like this is like a dog <laughs> in my homework situation, but my dog's actually very hungry sometimes. And yep. He's like, I yep. like paper. Yep. But but uh, either way, guys, hope you guys are in your merch over there at home. With that being said, let's get right into it. Go out and see what you can find. If a daddy's rich, take her out for a meal. If a daddy's poor, just do what you feel. Speed along the lane, do a turn or a turn of 25. When the sun goes down, you can make it, make it good and live by. We love that people, we love daddy, we love me. We love everybody, but we do as we please. When the weather's fine, we go fishing or go sailing in the sea. Philosophy. Sing along with us, dee 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 dee. Da 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 da. Yeah, we're happy, happy. Da da da. Dee da da dee da 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 da. Da 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 da. All right, all right, all right. Da 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 da. All right. Oh, Settle down If she's rich, if she's nice Bring your friends and we'll all go into town I was not ready for that I wasn't either adjective for this yeah it's definitely something that i've never heard before and but i've really? also heard Dude, the second it started like the banjo like the melody and stuff you've heard this i i think i for sure have that is wild this seems so weird to me also considering that it's doing so many things that i think are boundary pushing it's the first time i've heard them in like this era of music it's like 1970 yeah 
but like the beatboxing pretty or precursor to beatboxing he's making a bunch of mouth noises as rhythm which is like a precursor to beatboxing uh super super cool like you hear that a ton in modern day music and probably from like the early 2000s onward also uh that little skit where he has the car driving off in the middle like that's just something i've just never heard that like i've heard integrated sounds before but i've never heard that slice unless i'm thinking incorrectly maybe it was done prior either way it's a lot of very cutting edge things in this song like the rhythm is from the human voice alone pretty much yeah and it's definitely a freaking summer bop too hugely hugely just even the banjo of like the melody of it and how it sounds like even if there was no voice but you yeah. just have the music it could be background music like for just any like summer sunny That's, scene that was my one thing is like listening to it i was like this is a bit redundant and a kind of long Mm-hmm. But then I was like, again, this is not meant for us listening to it in, like, yeah. chairs. Like, this is meant for, like, you're on a lake somewhere with you and a couple girls, maybe a couple friends, and you're drinking, like, beer you shouldn't have out of a cooler that you do yeah. have. And, like, this is the time where you're, like, yeah. you hear the music on, and every once in a while you, you your ears perk to it, and you're happy you hear it, and then you go back to focusing on the reality of what you're doing. Yeah, I could also, like, see it being super appropriate in general, like, wholesome like family gathering like summer mm. gatherings too like cookout. oh like yeah we're having a little block party a cookout got got a swimming pool like all, yeah. all this stuff and just playing this and like being like a 10 year old running around and going ooh yeah girls yeah summertime yeah it sounds good or even not even you hearing know? the lyrics just hearing like boom ba da ba da 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 ba I love the way he's inflecting yeah, yeah, his yeah, voice yeah, too sure. he's like yeah. singing kind of funny when none of my like over yeah, over yeah, accentuating yeah. words in such a cool way it's so vibey so like him idiosyncratic definitely yeah it, it's funky how it is such a unique voice though it fits so well with this yeah and it doesn't take away from the summer feel it doesn't feel like it's like taking too much like attention from anything it really is in like harmony with but i think it. the i think the reason is because it's not a typical summary song like it's having banjo which i don't really consider to be a summary thing and he somehow made it summer. i know and the mouth yeah. noises and all the other weird stuff it, it's so much weirdness happening in one track that like to inflect the voice weird sounds like it fits and if almost probably if you didn't like if you just try to sing this straight it's kind of probably if you, seem yeah, weird if you like try too hard or didn't yeah. just go super you know, human spirit, you're just like speaking it out in like a fun yeah. way or something. Like, yep. like, you wouldn't feel as like joyful or charismatic. For sure. I feel like it's an A. I feel like, I feel like I can't not go like at least A plus probably. That's for wild. Me. For me. Okay. I mean, look at it. Like, 1970, it came out. Probably one of the most perfect summer songs I've like ever heard. I would have listened to it at probably any other point. I disagree. But, like, I think we hit a better summer song this week. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. Just saying. I, I, I think the other one, like, for one, you can definitely compare apples and oranges, but, like, it's definitely, like, hard, They're both fruit? Hard, Why hard can't fruit be compared? <laughs> they could definitely be compared. I, I don't know, man. I, I think this just, it, it seems like it fit a thing. And so many years later, the fact that it was on, like, a poll of 70s, like, summer songs, and everyone, like, you know, it tied, or, like, it got, like, 1% higher than, like, a Paul Simon song, yeah. but that's, like, Paul Simon. But the fact that it just like did so well, that everyone re- remembers it so far after the seventies. Like, I, I just feel like it, it. If not in terms of like writing or performance, like I, I think in terms of cultural significance. I mean, there's things you can hear in like 1968 that are far more like bombastic or doing more than this. Like, if you, even if you look at like the Beach Boys, like I get around. Like that song technically did like so many freaking more things. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think this is just pervasive to the culture in a way that is unique. So yeah, I can see going A plus on it. I think it's just like like the minimal aspect, like how you said, like even just like the voice being the main source of rhythm. Yeah. Okay. I, I think it's way less about like the writing or performance and way more about just the cultural significance, like of it like being that like beacon of like you wanna you wanna summer vibe that everyone in the country like knows and agrees that like it works. Yeah. Like this is that. Yeah, clearly yeah. it is too. Either way, really cool. Uh, I've loved this summer series. So definitely, if you're not on Discord, get on Discord because these polls have been great. And we're doing the next one next week. So um, excited for that. Thank you for watching the video. With that being said, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace. All right, guys, you know the drill. If you want to continue the ANA train, there's going to be a suggested video right here. And if you want to come support your boys, uh, get that exclusive content. Uh, it's sort of like the OnlyFans for music right there. A little link there. Less than a cup of coffee. We'll see you.